Hello everybody. Today we are doing a wet video. <laughs> Welcome to my hot tub and this glorious, gorgeous, fallish, winterish day. Oh, I wanted to actually make this video right here, right now, because I've, I've been sitting here. I, I finished a, um, a workshop this weekend, a Bowspring movement workshop in Austin with the creators of Bowspring, um, John Friend and Desi Springer. And um, it was so incredible. And um, I, my body was going through, it's this practice is, if you've never heard of it or heard me talk about it, it's a very different, very dynamic movement practice that um, can be so subtle and like deeply, deeply unwinding and healing of the nervous system. And then it can also be like very powerful. I mean, it is very powerful, but can be, you know, more intense and athletic and you can really kind of go all over the map with it in terms of, uh, I mean, it's a very, it's a very specific practice, but you can really, um, it changes so many different things is my point. And, um, so my body changed really dynamically and my whole life changed really dynamically. And I'm sitting here in my hot tub this morning, just kind of soaking my, my tissue, letting it warm up and kind of getting, you know, downloads, massive downloads about life and creation and relaxation and joy and the like living, you know, the willingness to live and, and to truly live. And at a time on the planet where there's so much polarity, so much division, so much separation, um, fear, worry, hatred, anger, um, blame, you know, all these things, um, going on. It's like, we can either feed into that, but if you, if you buy into that reality and you feed into that reality, you have to, you have to choose a side, you know? And, um, when you don't, you actually, uh, instead of choosing a side, you know, if you're not going to choose a side, then you have to actually just choose something completely different. You know, most people think the only option is checkout, but checkout is, is something, you know, checkout is like, is not choosing anything in a way. I mean, it's choosing checkout, but, um, if you'd like to move forward in your life, no matter what's going on in the world, um, then, it, choosing something different is uh, very much in order, I would say right now. And uh, the, our bodies are such a huge part of that. Like our bodies give us enormous amounts of information and awareness about creation, um, embodiment, being alive on the planet, what is possible. And one of the things that I find is that every time I go into like a depth of relaxation, um, and a lot of times I can sort of achieve that with, I mean, I, it always has to include my body in, in, a, in some way. Um, cause if our bodies are not relaxed, it's hard to be relaxed as a being. Um, and so, and it, it's not impossible, but, but it's like, why not, you know, why not have our bodies be relaxed as well? And our bodies can be this sort of like portal or like, um, you know, access to the greater, like a, a greater space of relaxation that we can choose energetically as well. And one of the things that I find is like, I'm sitting here in my hot tub and I'm just like taking the time this morning, giving myself a lot of space and taking the time to just assimilate and kind of absorb and, you know, really be aware of what I'm aware of. And I'm listening to a beautiful recording of a class called the realms of creation, um, from access consciousness, a telecall that, uh, Gary Douglas and Dane here just did. And there's a, there's a three day class coming up in December, which I can't wait for. Um, but really just pondering creation and including my body and like the creation of a different future. And, um, it's, it's amazing to me. Like it's one of my favorite things to play with and to explore and to receive that when I have a depth of presence with my body, a depth of enjoyment with my body, a depth of relaxation, and like I, I give myself permission to have hedonistic possibilities and hedonistic choices and hedonistic living. I mean, who who gets in their hot tub on a Monday morning, you know, for an hour, you know? Um, well, I do. <laughs> and it's a life that I've created by choice and, you know, I've made, been willing to make a lot of choices that other people won't make or, 
you know, choices that may not be available to others or not relevant to others, whatever it may be. But, but I only know the choices that I can make that would be fun for me and enjoyable for me and, and really, um, expand the sense of hedonism, creation, aliveness and pleasure in my own world. And, and so it's like, why, like I, my body is such a central part of that. Um, I'm here on the planet with this body at this time. And no matter what's going on, I am choosing to enjoy it. And we can, like, that is a choice. We don't have to wait for a different president or a different government or a different global situation in order to choose joy. That's what the, you know, establishment wants us to believe. Um, it's a, it's a choosable reality right here, right now. And joy is actually a choice that you don't have to have any sort of circumstances be any particular way in your life to demand and choose that you're going to have it. Um, and, um, because it's, it's an energy and it's a choice. This is my noodle <laughs> behind me that I used to um, float my feet on when my feet get too hot. Um, but, um, it is an energy and it is a choice. And we think that the circumstances of our lives have to change or the world, you know, in order to, for joy to be choosable, but it's choosable right now. You may not, you may not feel it the moment you choose it. Um, but if you make a demand, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to be happy in my life, no matter what. Um, and you prioritize that and you include your body and you allow your body to show you different ways that you can have that and create that. Your body has a consciousness of its own that is so intelligent, so wise, so aware. Um, and our bodies really do know how to, um, like actually they, they have such a propensity to, um, seek pleasure. And when we, when we allow that, it's like, we get to, we get to really have a, a whole universe that is, um, it's, it's a courageous universe and it's a courageous way of living. Um, and you cannot leave it up to anybody else, any president elected or not elected, you know, or whatever, <laughs> um, whatever your thing is about why you can't choose joy, you know, maybe it's your, your spouse or your family, or you're stressed out, or you have, you know, too much going on or whatever, you know, your boss, it could be so many things. But when we take the blame off of the rest of the world and we just go, no matter what, no matter what it takes, no matter who I have to lose or, or what I have to lose or what I have to gain or what I can gain, um, I'm going to have this as a reality. And now body, will you please show me what is true for you? Will you please show me what is joyful for you? What is enjoyable? Like, like let's, let's go about this together. And you start to include your body in the choice for pleasure and the choice for an intensity of creation that you may have never had before, a willingness to have wealth in a way that you've never had before. All these things, it's like what begins to show up is just absolutely phenomenal. And I love the, I love the bowspring piece of this as well, because bowspring um, creates this expansiveness in our bodies that is, I've never experienced. And I've been a mover, I've been a dancer and a diver and an athlete my whole life, a figure skater, a yogi, um, I've never experienced movement like Bowspring that is so deeply strengthening, healing, relaxing, nurturing, and empowering. Never in my life have I experienced it. Um, anything like this. And I'm, I'm so grateful because what it's been opening up for me is just a completely new universe after, you know, 53 years of, of having a body and exploring my body in a lot of very dynamic ways. It's like a whole new world for me. Um, so there's just so many resources out there for this. And, um, and I just want to, you know, kind of give a, an invitation to that, the universe of this, the universe of choosing pleasure, joy, and hedonism, um, access consciousness is absolutely amazing in terms of like what it has gifted me is beyond anything I've ever considered as well. Um, and, um, there's the realms of creation class. If you're somebody who has done a lot of 
Um, if you've done some access and you have the prerequisites, that's coming up. There's the Access Foundation class. Um, I'm going to be doing a Creation of Living salon at the beginning of 2025, which will be um, a semi-private intensive for six people here in Boulder. Um, diving into everything I'm talking about here and really including our bodies and um, creating creating 2025 as the most phenomenal year ever so far. So lots of resources. You can go to accessconsciousness.com. You can go to bowspring.com. You can go to heathernichols.com. Um, that's my website is kind of where you'll find both of those things interplaying together. Um, and, um, how does it get better than that? And what is your body, what is your body capable of showing you and asking you and leading you into as a choice and as a life and living that you've never considered before? And would you be willing to give it the space to show you? Because it's not in the doing, doing, doing that these, that creation really takes off from an inspired place. It's in the depth of relaxation and the depth of presence with our bodies that we begin to access completely different universes. And then creation is an elegant, magical, phenomenal process of just being alive every day and seeing what else we can create just because we can.